Ngayon, magsasagot naman tayo ng mga uh, trig expressions at kung paano i-simplify yung mga trig or trigonometric expressions. Now, kakailanganin natin yung ating mga identities or trig identities sa pagsagot ng mga problems na ito. At magpo-focus tayo doon sa Pythagorean identities, reciprocal identities, at saka yung tangent and cotangent identities. Now, isa sa kailangan yung matutunan sa pagsagot ng mga problems involving trig identities is kailangan memorize nyo talaga yung mga formula. Uh, the best way to uh, start memorizing the formula is isulat nyo yung formula ng um, formula sheet kagaya nito. So, ito yung makakatulong sa inyo para makapagsagot ng ilan sa mga trig expressions na kailangan natin i-simplify. So, ngayon, magsasagot tayo ng sham na problems involving uh, trig expressions and we're going to start with problem number one which is secant theta times cosine theta. So, sa pagsagot nito, upasan natin sa problem number one, meron tayong secant theta cosine theta. Ang una nating rule sa pag-simplify ng mga expression is always modify yung mga functions na hindi sine and cosine. So, in this case, yung secant yung hindi cosine and sine. So, iti-change natin siya doon sa value ng secant theta at using the reciprocal identities, ang secant theta ay 1 over cosine. So, papalitan natin siya ng 1 over cosine theta. At yung cosine naman ay iiwan natin kasi yun yung basic rule sa pagsagot or simplify ng mga trig expressions. Usually, yung mga sine at saka cosine function, hindi natin sila binabago. So, in this case, kung multiply natin yung bago nating function, cancel natin yung cosine theta at ang matitira lang na, na lang sa atin is 1. So, ibig sabihin, itong problem number 1, kapag na-simplify natin is equal to 1 using the identity. Now, yung problem number 2 naman, same principle applies. So, we have cotangent theta multiplied by sine theta. So, in this case, ang babaguhin natin is si cotangent theta at si cotangent theta ay cosine theta all over sine theta kasi yun yung identity niya dito sa ating uh, formula. So again, mahalaga na alam nyo yung formula nyo para mas madali ang pagsagot ng mga trig identities tulad nito. So walang shortcut sa pagsagot ng trig identities. Kailangan talaga memorize nyo yung inyong formula at familiar kayo doon sa mga formula para masanay kayo sa pagsagot ng mga problems tulad nito. So, makakancel natin si sine theta at ang matitira sa atin is cosine theta all over 1 or simply cosine theta. So, ito yung simplest form ng problem number 2. Now, so problem number 3 naman, meron tayong sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. Now, sinasabi ko sa mga students ko na kapag nakakakita sila ng exponent of 2, usually, yung kailangan nilang gamitin dun sa mga formula nila ay yung Pythagorean identity. So, hahanapin nyo lang yung uh, kaparehas na identity ng sine squared plus cosine squared at mapapansin nyo na siya ay equal to 1. So, sometimes may mga answers na madaling hanapin. Sometimes may mga answers na kailangan mo talaga isolve bago mo siya masimplify. So, ito is just equal to 1. So, mahalaga talaga na memorize nyo yung inyong trig identities. Or at least familiar kayo na ang gagamitin nyo ay Pythagorean identities or reciprocal identities or yung other version ng, co ng cotangent at tangent formula. So sa problem number 4, we have 1 plus tangent squared theta. 1 plus tangent squared theta. At tulad ng sinabi ko, kapag nakakita kayo ng exponent na 2, Usually, yun yung Pythagorean identity or kailangan yung Pythagorean identity. So, using the Pythagorean identity, ito yung inyong original function. Yung tangent squared natin daw is 1 plus tangent squared equal to theta. At siya ay equal dito sa secant squared theta. So, tan squared theta plus 1 is the same as 1 plus tangent squared theta. So, ibig sabihin ito, ito ay simply secant squared theta. So, yan yung pagsagot ng problem number 4. And then, problem number 5, 
we have tangent theta all over secant theta. Now, mapapansin nyo, wala tayong sine and cosine function. So, ang gagawin natin is babaguhin natin yung parehas na function. Si tangent theta, alam natin, ay sine theta all over cosine theta. At yung ating secant theta naman ay 1 over cosine theta. At pag magdi-divide tayo ng fraction, kailangan lang natin ikopyahin yung numerator. So, meron tayong sine theta all over cosine theta. At multiply natin siya sa reciprocal ng ating denominator, which is 1 over cosine. So, we have cosine theta all over 1. And by doing so, we can cancel out the cosine. And now, we are only left with sine theta. At yan yung problem number 5. And problem number 6 meron tayong tangent squared theta multiplied by cosecant squared theta. Now, sabi ko kanina, pag nakakuha, nakakita kayo ng mga exponent of 2, kailangan nyo agad gamitin si Pythagorean identity. Pero since hindi kayo nakakakita ng plus 1 or minus 1, ang gagawin natin is i-modify natin yung function using its cosecant and secant version. I mean, sine and cosine version. So, si tangent squared theta, para rin lang siyang tangent theta. So, kung meron tayong tangent theta, pwede natin siyang change into sine theta all over cosine theta. So, kung meron naman siyang exponent na 2, gagawin lang natin is change sa siya sa sine squared theta all over cosine squared theta. At yung cosecant naman, it's a change natin siya into its inverse which is 1 all over sine squared theta. And by doing so, pwede natin i-cancel C sine squared at ang matitira sa atin ay 1 all over cosine squared theta. At alam natin na ito yung nasa reciprocal identity. So sa reciprocal identity, 1 over cosine is secant. So pwede natin siyang i-change into secant squared theta. So ito yung simplest form ng problem number 6. And yung problem number 7, um, meron tayong secant beta minus sine beta tangent beta. So, ang gagawin natin is, it's a change natin yung ating mga secant and tangent into its sine and cosine version. So, si secant ay pwede natin i-change into 1 all over cosine beta minus si sine ay i-retain natin Pero si tangent, pwede natin siyang baguhin as sine beta all over cosine beta. So, pwede natin pagsamahin itong dalawang sine. So, ang magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 1 all over cosine beta minus sine squared beta all over cosine beta. Now, meron tayo ngayong fraction at alam natin kapag ka Parehas yung denominator ng fraction. Kukopyahin natin yung fraction. At i-add natin or subtract yung numerator. So, meron tayong 1 minus sine squared beta. Now, alam natin na itong 1 minus sine squared beta ay pwede natin mahanap or ma-check sa Pythagorean identity. At ito ay equal sa function na ito. So, 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta. So, pwede natin siyang i-modify into cosine squared beta all over cosine beta. At kapag ka sinimplify natin to, it will equal to cosine beta. So, yan yung problem number 7. At sa problem number 8, meron tayong fraction. At meron tayong secant squared theta minus 1 all over secant squared theta. So, dito, ang gagawin natin is i-check yung Pythagorean identity ulit kasi meron tayong minus 1 at saka meron tayong exponent ng 2. At si secant squared beta or secant squared theta minus 1 is equal to tangent squared theta. So, pwede natin i-modify yung ating numerator into tangent squared theta all over secant squared theta. 
So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is i-change natin yung parehas into its sine and cosine version. So, meron tayong sa tangent squared is sine squared theta all over cosine squared theta. At yung atin namang secant ay 1 all over cosine squared theta which is going to be sine squared theta all over cosine squared theta multiplied by the reciprocal which is cosine squared theta all over 1 and by cancelling this we'll have sine squared theta at yan yung problem number 8 and yung problem number 9 natin will have cosine theta times 1 plus secant theta 1 minus cosine theta. So in this particular problem, ang gagawin natin is i-multiply muna natin itong factor na to at magkakaroon tayo ng cosine theta plus cosine theta times secant theta. And before natin siya i-multiply to 1 minus cosine theta, simplify muna natin siya. So, alam natin si secant theta, pwede natin i-change into 1 over cosine theta. And kopyahin lang natin yung the rest of the problem. And makikita nyo na pwede natin i-cancel si cosine. At ang matitira sa atin is cosine theta plus this will turn into 1. And then, ito ngayon, ibababa uli natin at i-multiply natin siya dun sa ating product. 1 minus cosine theta. And let's see if mas simplify pa natin tong ating expression. So by multiplying it, cosine theta minus cosine squared theta plus 1, then minus cosine theta. And here, Pwede tayo mag-combine ng like terms at si cosine theta and negative cosine theta pwede natin i-cancel because it's equal to zero at matitira tayo ng negative cosine squared theta plus 1 or if we modify this, this will turn into 1 minus cosine squared theta at mukha siyang Pythagorean identity so pag chinect natin si Pythagorean identity si 1 minus cosine squared ay sine squared theta so ito ay sine squared theta. So, ito yung pag-simplify ng mga rational expressions at again, kailangan nyo lang alam or malaman yung inyong identities para mas madali yung pagkuha ng mga simplest form ng ating mga trig expressions. At kung meron kayong natutunan dito sa video na ito, please uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you!